Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here with my October wrap up and Riga's ready because I read so many books. Oh, I can't even lift them all up, they're so heavy. All two of them because I'm still in a reading slump and I think it is quite amazing that I even managed to read two books in that time. But I must say there were two very, very good books and I can bet that you guys already know which one this is because of these beautiful red stained pages and that is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo and like I said, I read amazing books. And there's nothing wrong with only reading two books a month. Even if I read no books this month, I'm still going to be totally okay with that. I ain't any less of a reader so well, let's get into talking about these two. Both of these books are actually sequels as well so I'll just show you guys these fantastic covers on them and then I'll talk about the first book in the series as well. So first up we had Crooked Kingdom and it was so good. This was a duology for Six of Crows. This is the last one um, in that duology because that's what duology means. What am I thinking? But it was like so great. It was such a perfect ending to the series. Like even though not everyone is okay at the end of this book, it was still just perfect because it had that realistic aspect to this fantasy story, which is what we need more of. But it did break my heart and it was absolutely fantastic. And although at some parts it was slow, you know, I still loved every single second of it. So yes, the first book in that series is Six of Crows. And this is amazing. It's basically about a group of these outlaws who have to go and complete one impulse heist so you have from all six point of views and you fall in love with these characters immediately and they're also different in contrast of each other and yeah you're basically rooting for the bad guys this entire book and you just can't help but love it it is like an adventure dystopia slash fantasy that is amazing if you guys have read the Grisha trilogy it is kind of like a spin-off from that so yeah there's a bit of that same magic woven into it and a few characters that might pop up during this duology. And the second book that I read was A Torch Against the Night by Sapa Tahir. This is the second book in the Ember in the Ashes series. Um, I was pretty happy because I read An Ember in the Ashes not too long ago and thankfully the second book came out really recently so I got to pretty much just read it straight after and I am so glad that I did because it ended on a cliffhanger. This one however was such a ride. It was up and down and happy and sad and I had so many emotions throughout this book and it was just as good as the first one and I really can't believe I have to wait so long now for the third book and I just need it like yesterday. So you have two perspectives in this book from two very different characters. First of all you have Leia who is basically at the lower class of the city. No one really likes the lower class so it's very dangerous for them to live where they are and in one night that her house is raided her grandparents are killed and her brother is taken from her so she decides to pair up with the rebellion to try to get her brother back. Little does she know that that is going to send her into the path of Elias who is like the best soldier out there and it is very dangerous except that Elias is having a change of heart and he doesn't want to be a soldier. He wants to be a better person and so him and uh, Leia become friends to try to help her get her brother back or to basically survive. It is pretty intense and amazing and I know I did not do that very much justice but I guarantee if you guys like dystopia slash fantasy you guys will love this. So there you guys have my hefty uh, October wrap up. They're pretty big books so I'm pretty happy that I managed to like read them during my reading sometimes and um, fingers crossed this reading slump goes away because we all know what pains they are. So thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon and until then have a lovely bookish day and great things happen to you. Hey guys it's Tilly and yes it is that Tilly that does not know how to stop spending money on books.